Hey guys, welcome to today's One Six Galaxy video. Today we are taking a look at TMS 080, that being Cad Bane, but deluxe version, as we will see shortly. Um, so this is an advanced release of the figure, if you will, uh, because we know that Pop Culture got their batch last week, and uh, this was not in that batch. So this is probably another four to six weeks away. Um, so I believe this figure originally came from Stark Toys and I purchased it sealed from Shane Lucas, another collector in the community. Um, so I purchased this for about $4.55. If you would um, like one, Jefferson Tan has one available as well. So definitely hit up Jeff if you um, want to get in early. Uh, otherwise, he is still available for pre-order on Pop Culture. Um, and of course, other retailers don't go HK for this one. The HK vendors are still extremely high, uh, probably around the 540 or so mark. Um, it's been a, about a week or so since I've checked. Uh, anyway guys, let's get into our video. So we can see an awesome picture of the figure on the front, as always, it being a shoebox, um, displaying one of the interchangeable portraits. Uh, we get an image of Toto there. Toto 360 telling us that it is the Deluxe. Then we of course have the ribbon confirming that this is TMS 080, the Cad Bane Deluxe. And we get that ribbon um, displaying the figure. And I believe this side just continues the artwork. And this side has the figure in another pose with Toto. Um, back of the box is just all your warnings and whatnot. Uh, we know all that because we've had these boxes from Hot Toys so many times before. Um, alrighty, when we do uh, open the box, we of course get our art insert. Uh, this one's pretty damn cool, so again showing off the standard portrait that you get the figure. Um, we have him drawing a blaster while holding a blaster. Then we have Toto looking like he's walking through some type of a deserty, rocky landscape. Uh, so that's really quite cool. Alrighty, this guy comes with a total of six hands. Um, so I have uh, replaced one of the trigger hands. Uh, that's all I've done. Oh, and I've uh, pegged in the little antenna. Uh, everything else uh, is as is. So we do get uh, a right and left fist. Um, so painted uh, quite nicely, of course, being the sculpted plastic. But like always, um, the plastic sculpting looks awesome. Uh, not too much, too not too much uh, detailing there, but that's fine, I suppose, because you're not going to really see the inside of his hands anyway. Uh, there's the other one, just to show that the hand wraps are identical on either side. Uh, we, of course, get the relaxed hands that are on the figure when you pick him up. So, again, I've replaced this one. Uh, and then we are going to get a right and left trigger finger. And, of course, as I said, I've already uh, replaced one. Yeah, really nice detailing on those hand wraps. Uh, we, of course, uh, get a flame effect. I think this one is uh, slightly smaller. I want to say it is slightly smaller than the one they've used for Bulba and Mando in the past. It just f doesn't feel as heavy uh, as those do. Uh, it still has the blue flame where it's going to be hottest and then extending out. Um, but yeah, it's really, uh, really quite nice as always. Um, even though it's just obviously translucent plastic, it looks great. Uh, we are, of course, going to get his uh, two blasters, which do holster in nicely. Uh, just do keep in mind that uh, it is a bit tight uh, when in the holster. Um, so we can see that really nice um, detailing with the trigger, and then we've got all those really intricate little details that they've added. It's 
just to show the um, level of detail on this, so it's really quite cool. Uh, you do obviously get two of these. I've got the figure holding one currently at the moment, um, but they are identical blasters and they are really quite cool. Um, we do also get two of these uh, boosters. So it is a dynamic stand, uh, so you can peg these in or slide these into the um, boot and uh, he can fly or you, yeah, you can have him um, with the fly effect which is really quite cool. So just showing that we of course do get two. Uh, so you do get a right one, you get a left one. They are angled slightly differently. The uh, instructions will tell you which way they should angle out anyway, so that's fine. Um, and then, of course, being the deluxe version, we do get um, Toto. So I have uh, assembled him. So these in the box, the flight effects for him are separate. You do have to pick them in. And then you do have to uh, assemble his little stand. Um, he is articulated um, at the arms and head and the legs to a point as well. Uh, do be very careful. He just feels fragile, um, especially trying to peg this stand in. I was mortified that I was going to break this guy. Um, but he is painted really nicely and he is weathered really nicely. Uh, these feet do kind of do peg off as well. I will, um, the instructions do tell you and I'll show you why that is in a moment. I'm not going to do it myself because as I said, this guy just feels fragile. And um, yeah, you can give him his little boosters. Uh, you do get these. So he does have a right and left interchangeable feet. Um, so they just pull off like a ball joint. And you can see that they aren't complete. The reason for this is, is you're supposed to unpeg the feet plates and peg them into this and then you kind of, oh, that's not going to be very helpful. Uh, and then, so these are pegged into the figure and these will kind of come together in the middle and uh, you can have a secondary floating effect. Um, personally, I'm not gonna go through that much trouble. The little boost of effects are fine. Um, lastly, we do of course get the interchangeable Portraits. I was going to save them until the figure was actually out here, but we'll show them off anyway. Uh, so they pull off like so. And yes, you um, get his kind of grinning slash I'm about to say something. Look, those teeth. So it's looking very, very cool. Uh, and then you get his angry, shouting, attacking... Um, face as well. So again, the level of detail in those um, in the paint ups and teeth are really quite cool. Uh, so you do have uh, the option of the extra portrait uh, should you choose. Alrighty, let's get the figure out here. Oh, of course, we do also have the display stand. Um, I already have the figure on it, so I'll just cover it when we go down. Nothing special. It's our favourite display stand. Um, because where would we be without countless figures that have it? Alright. Let's reposition. Alrighty, so this is the live action Cad Bane. Um, so his hat is a very nice fabric material. Uh, and it is removable, uh, obviously for the sake of the um, interchangeable portraits. Uh, so it is fabric. You can see the design on it, so it's really quite cool. Um, the hat actually, I think the hat appears larger in hand than it did in photos. So I actually uh, don't mind it. Um, it doesn't look as small as I, I thought it would. Um, once the figure was in hand. I'm just going to show you the detail on the head sculpt uh, and then I'm going to put it back on. Uh, so you can see his um, 
plate in there. Um, so in the box, and I'll come back to it later, um, this little piece here, this little antenna, you have to peg that in, so just be careful. Um, it is articulated, but it uh, can come out quite... Um, I don't want to say easily, but I think if you're playing around with it, um, if you're playing around with the figure, especially changing the uh, sculpt, I think you might accidentally um, pull it out or break it. Um, so I will just, word of caution, he actually is lighter skin toned uh, than he appears in the video. He is a definitely a more of a lighter blue uh, than he's coming across in the camera, but um, I think it's fine. Uh, if you're putting him in a dark room anyway, it's going to be slightly darker. But yeah, the uh, some reason he's coming across on the camera, the colour that he was in the Clone Wars. Um, but he's a lighter shade um, on the actual paint app. So we'll just pop his hat back on. So yeah, overall, I think... So yeah, overall, the hat looks small through the camera um but really i mean it comes out a decent amount yes his um yes his other hat uh was probably more iconic for the most part but if you've seen um rebels no not rebels bad batch um he does in fact lose that hat and gets a new one so um but yeah by no means does the hat look as small um, as it's coming across in the video. Uh, so there is a whole heap um, of detail uh, to go over. We are going to stop just here. So we do have these little bits on the jacket, but when we open it up, um, we have little bits on the inside there. You can't really open it up too much. I mean, you can. I've just got the waist grabber on. But um, the, it is not a wired coat so you're not going to be able to do anything um too crazy with it anyway but it does the job so yeah the uh waist grabber um as i said i've just done this quite quickly uh but the waist grabber is going to hinder the jacket so um up to you what you if you use the stand or not um i did find that he did actually stand quite well on his own um but yeah you can see all the extra ammo Again, a bit of cybernetic there, um, stretch across, and then we have the two straps for the holster to the part of the coat that's not hindered by the waist grabber. So you get your holster in there. Uh, and then coming down, we are going to have more ammo strapped to his boots there. And it's our favorite display stand. Star Wars Cad Bane, and it's the desert sand with the feet. Um, molded into it. All right. Right, so coming around to the side, we are going to see his tube there. We have the hose for the flamethrower. I'm pretty sure this is the hand that you use the flamethrower for. Uh, you can see that relaxed hand there, the blue gauntlet with all the buttons there. Um, coming down, you can see the boot there, and of course the ammo. See if we can. No, it's hoping to get the holster with the hands in the way anyway. Uh, so coming to the back, so again we see the tubes. Um, so there's that device. So you said that little antenna is what you plug in there. It is articulated. There's the um, dynamic stand. I am going to reposition it so that way it's more center to the figure. Um, so that way I won't actually see it. 
um, coming down into the back of the duster coat there. And then of course we have the back of the boots. Uh, so we have the other gauntlet there as well that we'll see in a moment. That there probably gives you a more accurate um, colour for the um, skin tone. Um, so there's that secondary gauntlet. There's that trigger finger holding that other blaster. And of course, the side view of the boot. Um, and then we are back to the front. Uh, so yeah, overall, um, I would say a very um, good figure to get, uh, especially with those um, interchangeable sculpt options. And yes, um, while a lot of people do have some issues with the way the characters have been handled, uh, with the live action appearances, um, I still think it's probably it's going to be a figure worth getting, um, especially uh, if you're a fan of the character. And I mean, we're going to get Cobb Vamp sometime soon anyway, so that's a figure that complements him. We've already got Boba and Fennec. Um, you can put him in a bounty hunter display if you really want to do that. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of places uh, for this guy to go. Um, I know that a lot of people are going to see how the sideshow one turns out and get that. Um, either way, I don't think you can really go wrong. Um, uh, depends. Uh, I know the sideshow version, I think, is almost the price of this figure sideshow. Of, um, in terms of ordering from Australian retail, sideshow prices are definitely way up there. Because um, my last sideshow figure, I think, was 440 um, and that's the most I've ever paid for a sideshow figure. Uh, that of course being Australian dolls. Um, but yeah, so just see how that goes. Um, but yeah, as I said, this guy is probably going to hit Australian retail in the next five to six weeks, four to six weeks. Um, but yeah, Jefferson does have one uh, if you want to get your hands on this guy early like I did. Um, anyway guys, thanks for watching. We are going to hopefully have Moon Knight on Monday and then um, the KX Enforcer later next week and I'll decide whether I do a video of the Captain America Falcon. I did pick him up from Jefferson um, earlier in the week as well, um, but being, an older, being a slightly older figure, I just don't know if I want to do a video or not. Um, but anyway guys, thanks for watching.